Hello everyone. So today I'll try to show you how easily you can design, let's say, redesign a, a pre-stress concrete box, a continuous, a continuous beam on, on three spans. Uh, so we'll take it, uh, let's say, from scratch, from the beginning. Uh, and we'll make it step by step, including uh, the verification that MyDAS can do. So the first thing we'll, uh, we're going to do is, uh, of course, uh, we have to uh, describe the cross-section of the bridge and the materials which are uh, used for it. So for this, we'll go to, to properties, material properties, and we'll first um, define the concrete as uh, C4050. And then we'll, we'll define uh, the uh, pre-stressed uh, reinforcement which are which will which will use. Once these are defined, uh, we will go and define some uh, properties for grip and shrinkage, which we'll use later on. We'll just type here C4050. We'll use your code as uh, with the code. Okay, so we will uh, switch a little bit here to Newton and uh, square millimeters. So then C4050, European, here we'll put 40 square millimeters, and here let's say 400 millimeters. We we'll keep the type of cement, cement as normal plus R and uh, we just press OK. And then we'll, uh, we, we'll uh, define the uh, independent uh, properties. The same like European, and here we put for the, to be this kind of graphic. And then we link, after we will define these two parameters, we have to link them with the concrete which we have defined it earlier. Okay, now that all these are made, we'll go to structure and we'll use one of the wizards which are available in my task. We'll use the Grealish model. And after pressing, we'll get to this uh, to this uh, screen. Here we'll keep as uh, 2D elements. We'll keep the bridge material as uh, C4050. And we'll have three spans, let's say 30, 50, 30. We'll keep it straight. And uh, in bearing type, so there are, let's say, other, uh, other kind of uh, more complicated bridges which can be made uh, through this wizard, but we'll keep it uh, simple for the moment. So we'll keep it with very only. And next we'll go to the span. As you can see, we, we wrote here uh, three spans. The white wizard already have here, here uh, three tabs. There are some, uh, let's say, predefined uh, uh, properties. We'll keep it uh, like this. And for the section, we we'll have to use one which we, we didn't make. So for this, we'll just save it here. Let's say wizard, and we'll go to define the section. The section will take from the PSC, and we'll go to PSC and cell, and we'll give it a name section. Let's say, and now we have to uh, to define the, the dimensions of the cross-section. So we we'll keep here as a total, a total width of the, of the bridge of, let's say, 14, uh, 14 meters. Uh, the cantilever here will have a maximum uh, depth of 400 millimeters and the minimum one of 250. The bottom slab will keep it at 220 millimeters 
and the top slab was 250 millimeters. Uh, sorry, no, this is H1, two, 2000. Sorry. B1 is 14, uh, 14,000, like the uh, right here. And then we have this B2, we'll keep it at two meters. You can see that the drawing is updated. B3, we'll keep it at 500 millimeters. We we'll put here, uh, okay, we we'll keep it at two cells. You see that everything is updated as we, we change the parameters. B4, B4 is, uh, we'll keep it, let's say, 150, or maybe, okay, 250. B5, save, and B6, uh, 500 millimeters. So now we have, the, we have the section, of course, we can use a slope, to, a slope, uh, uh, it will be a little bit more complicated for the, for the post-tensioning. So for the moment, uh, we'll keep it like uh, vertical waves. And then we'll just save it. So you have been in, oh, okay. Because we have to we have to tell him something about the web thicknesses which are considered for shear and torsion. So we'll, it's easily to just press auto. And after that, okay. And the section is defined. Now we'll go back to the to the village. We'll just open it again, whatever we did before. And now we'll go to see, we'll go to span. And here at the prismatic section, we'll just choose the section we uh, defined. And the same for all the three spans. And then we can go to section. Here we have uh, we have uh, two possibilities of making the, the grillage. One is to consider uh, the, the, the web-based uh, system, which is uh, let's say considering uh, half of the of the slab uh, for uh, for each of the web. And another one is slab-based, which is giving up let's say. Uh, more equilibrated uh, uh, section, but we'll, we'll go to, to web-based. The next step is the one which uh, we are using for defining uh, the, the, let's say, uh, characteristics of the beach. We'll go for a symmetrical one. Uh, Midas is giving you three options. We are using the first one. And uh, we'll give, uh, um, let's say, 400, uh, for 800 millimeters here. One second. So no, let's see, 300 millimeters here for uh, B1 and uh, B7, same thing, 300. And then for for B B three it will be like uh, eleven meters, and we'll have two B four will keep it at zero, B two it's one hundred two hundred uh, one thousand two hundred millimeters one point two meters, and the same for B six one thousand two hundred. Mm, okay, here I have to have like this. And the total sum which you, uh, which you see here has to be equal to the to the one we uh, put it uh, uh, before. I mean the one which is already uh, made in the section. Okay, for the bearing we can define it ourselves the positions, but we can also press here auto calculate and he will give us a, let's say a, a proposal for it. We'll go for it and. Uh, uh, it will be the same for for the bed, bed, bed one and bed top two, and then we'll go for it. For the loads, we, we can define the loads for the for the bridge self weight. Of course, we have to define the thickness of the pavement, like 120 millimeters. The density here, 
I would just say we can go back to kilometer because this is much easier. Okay, so here we put S22. For barrier, we have a 1.5 kilometer per, per meter per load. Here we just see, let's see. You have to save it from time to time. Additional load will not put for the median strip, we will not take into consideration. Sidewalk will take a thickness of <coughs> the sidewalk of 0 0.3 meters. And the uh, weight of density, let's say 24 per square meter per cubic meter. For defining the life the life load, we will go to Europod. And now it's giving us the possibility to define the traffic lane. Given the size of the cross section, we have six lanes, and we have to define the position of the lanes uh, according to the uh, from from the let's say margin of the of the cross section the first one will be we said c 0 0.3 and 1.2 so actually it's something like 0 0.9 meters this is this will be the the load the the pedestrian on the on the footway the other one it will be like uh, three meter and then we'll have another one at six meter nine meter and 12 meter and after that we have another one at 13.1 we'll take a settlement of 0 0.02 centimeters and for now we'll not go for temperature is not really the scope of the seminar what is more, more uh, let's say interesting is the defining of the tendon which is the next step. Here, uh, MyDAS has the possibility to auto-generate the tendons. We'll just press it. Okay. The property, we have to define one. And we'll go, we'll say T1, the kind of the tendon. Post tension, we'll go for the material which we defined at the first step. Total tendon area will go here and we'll choose uh, 19 strands of 15.2 uh, of millimeters. The diameter of the dirt will take 110 millimeters. The relaxation coefficient will go to Europod and will take low. And here, as you can see, you have some, let's say, predefined parameters for the uh, for the tendon, we will keep it as it is because there's, uh, let's say, normal mass. We can change it, of course, based on the uh, manufacturer of the of the duct and uh, uh, things like this. But for the moment, we will keep it like this. Once we have this, you can press auto generate. My does is already generated these three these three tables. But as you can see, these are straight. From this, from this, uh, uh, let's say auto generating. Now there are two possibilities. One is to uh, go uh, in these cells and uh, using, let's say, uh, some uh, Excel sheets uh, or something like this, we can uh, change these uh, parameters so that uh, uh, it will be uh, you'll make the the actual uh, shape of the of the tendon. What I'm doing actually, it's I'm having some kind of, uh, let's say, um, file in MATLAB. We are depending on the uh, on the bridge and uh, whatever shape I want for the for the tables. Uh, this is giving me the shape of the um, of the of the tender. You can see it here, and this shape we're taking then just uh, copy paste it into um, we'll just paste it here. Okay. 
Oh, sorry. Now this will help to switch to control C, control D. Okay, and here we have to take zero everywhere, centered in the middle of the. So I think now is okay. And now we have to just put here minus 0.2. And I think this is it. We have to define also. Let's see. Here we'll put. Okay, I can see it didn't, it didn't save to what you will do to me. You can see. You need to go here. And then you need to go Sometimes it's written like this. Interesting.
Okay. Now I have to switch it here minus two and here modify. Okay. I don't understand this. Let me see. Let's see. Right here. This from here. Let's see. And this has to be zero. I'm going to take a lot of time to I really want to understand why this is happening. Sometimes I hope it is okay. We'll take it from from the beginning first. Okay, transverse eighty five load. We we'll put it here with twenty five value. Is one point five additional one. To the thickness zero point two with density twenty five. Here we will have to go to the code thirty one six zero point three now we have three six nine and two twelve and then thirteen point one okay. Settlement is 0 0.02. And now that we'll get to the It's already defined, okay. We can switch it here, auto generate, okay. And then I have to see why this is
Then we take all these three. Control C, modify here. We will go to second one. We will go to 3D, copy here, modify, and the same for the third one. Okay, modify. Now we have to go here and switch to minus 22. Modify. Yeah. Yeah. We'll keep this as not at force but at stress. It's easily to and here as stress we'll put 13, which is 0 0.5 from the from the yielding. Yeah. So now I think we are more or less okay. We'll just save it just in case. And then we'll go to reinforcement. So here we have the possibility to already reinforce this uh, this cross section. We'll just add some uh, some reinforcement. Okay. Okay. Here we'll put at the top. Let's say our reinforcement P25 at a number of let's say 80. We'll take it uh, from the top at 0 0.05 meter and the spacing of, let's say, 0 0.15. Yeah. And you can see the software already put here the reinforcement at the top of the, of the section. And we'll put another one at the bottom, let's say P20. We'll keep here maybe 60. Uh, 60. Here we'll put one point uh, 55, something, and spacing same. And modify. And you can see the iPhone motor so here. Also you can you can put some shear in the in the In the, in the cross section, but I think here we already have a mistake here because it's 30, 50, 30. Okay, enforcement here now is fine. Okay, so we'll put uh, uh, interior ones, so we'll put let's say P12 for legs. At the spacing of 125, and also here we have a from, from the end, we have the same thing for weeks, and we put here then at 0 0.125. These are the these are actually. The defining of the of the stirrups near the the ends of the spans. So we have to define also the maximum spacing. Let's say we we'll put here a 0 0.25 in the middle of the span of the span, and here we we'll keep uh, the uh, the small diameter and uh, only two uh, you know, only two legs. We we'll just save it. And now, hopefully, it will run. The coordinate ratio of the profile must be tangent with the one. Okay, let's see. Okay, the coordinate ratio of the profile must be coordinate ratio. Mm 
Well, if that was, I can see. So I'm going to give that one. And then we get that two. And then we Okay, for some reason, I don't know why we, why it's not working here. It's just an update, an update is up, which is actually running. Yeah. And this will produce the, will produce the, the model. Now, as you can see, we can visualize the, the tendon for five points. Uh, which are straight, and we will go to, we will have to modify them. Okay, through low temperature, tendon profile, we will go here. And from this point, we will just go back and click this as well. Yeah. Okay. And so we have to start just zero. Okay, so this is okay now. You can see it here and now. Okay, we have to put here a minus two so that we'll go back. Okay. Now we just have to adjust the other two. And then we can see. And so we now is okay. This one is here. Minus two. Okay. Okay. And the same for the third one, and three. And that one will keep the same minus two. Three. Okay. So now, if you can see uh, the the shapes, the shape of the table, it's is now okay. Now, first thing we have to we have to go to moving load analysis and define the vehicles. We have the load model one. And also, we have to put something for the foot rate. And then we have to move, we'll go to moving the cases and we have to define the case itself. We'll put for the foot rate, we'll put the uniform load and the foot rate is at D1 and D6, we'll put it here. Okay. And then we'll define another one, which is the, the frequent one. The same here, D1, D6, and we'll put it here. Now, there are two possibilities to define the moving load, uh, and uh, we'll have, um, we have uh, those six which, uh, which we defined. So the D1 and D2, 
and also D5 and D6 will put it at lane element because the cross beams group are not covering the full the full width of the bridge. So this will be as lane element. Or alternative, we can define some, uh, let's say, uh, uh, dummy elements in order to include them in the in the cross uh, cross elements. But there is no time now. Okay. And now hopefully we we'll run the we we'll run the model and see the results. Okay. The software has the possibility to automatically create the load combinations in accordance with the Europod. So we go here. We choose Eurocode, and here we, we make the combinations automatically. So we can go here and check the, what I'm doing. That the first time I'm checking the service traces. So I'm doing a combination of 25, which is the first one. Okay. So we we'll go here and check at the low combination 25 the stresses. To see <coughs> how are we staying. We will switch here in Newton square millimeters. Okay, so these are very high. So because of it, we have to see here. This is because this was not well defined, so it says to be. 1295, 1295. Now we'll check again. Okay, let's see at the bottom. And now the results are, let's say, in a much better position. But as you can see uh, here, we have a, a very high tension. So we can we can go back to to defining of the tendon, and we can, let's say, to see uh, how much we have to increase. We will go to typical tendon, and now, as the model is now, we have one tendon per web. But we can see what happens if, for example, we put if we put six tendons per web. Typical tendon. This is just so let's say for dimensioning for, for let's say for a pre-dimension of the uh, of the tendon because after then that uh, you have to to stress the tendon uh, one by one and uh, of course there will be some some losses due to this operation but for the pre-dimensioning it's, uh, it's it's okay so we'll see how the how the stresses will improve hopefully. So you can get here, stresses, 25. Okay, so from 14.5, it, it will it decreases to 5.74. Now, okay, we can do a lot more, but the time is a little bit uh, not so much. So what I want to show you is uh, the kind of, uh, let's say, uh, verification that the software can do based based on the reinforcement which we previously introduced. So if you, we go to the PSC step, we go to parameters, and here we have uh, according to robot, we have to we we can see what we can verification with what we can do. 
we'll do for the ultimate rated resistance and shear resistance. So we'll just uh, press here uh, and after that, okay. And then uh, we'll not do for the entire bridge because it's, it's uh, kind of time consuming, but we'll do for uh, a, uh, a section. Here we have to define the parameters of the reinforcement. So we we'll take uh, a rebar class B and we'll modify it here. And for the section which we'll do, which we will check, we'll choose these two. And these two we have to tell the software to uh, design it. And after that, we have to tell him to produce the output. We have to check here however the combinations are put. It seems to be okay. Short term and long term cases. And after that, we'll just press perform design and the software will do the design for these two sections which are, uh, which are defined by us. And then we have to see the results. The results tables you can see here uh, in, a, let's say, uh, kind of some, some let's say, uh, general view. But you can see them also in a very detailed way going and uh, making an Excel report. Just press OK and the software will, will uh, we will prepare the report. It takes a little time, but uh, you will see that the reports are quite uh, comprehensive, let's say. I know that the time is a little bit at the limit, but after uh, we'll see this, I want to show you something regarding the tendons as well. How you can see the uh, elongations of the cable, the weight of the cables which are in the system, in the in the bridge. So you can see, uh, 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 let's say, uh, quantity of the uh, reinforcement uh, which is uh, inside your bridge. You can make an idea, a roughly idea. These reports are always taking a little bit of time, but Okay, so you can see that for every element, we took 105 and 106 at both ends. It, it does the calculations and wherever there is a problem, it will be in red here. Hopefully there are no, okay, you can see here, not good. So the problem is with the shear resistance. Okay, we have to improve that, but uh, uh, you can see here as well in the, let's say, in the table. So this is how the, the software is preparing the reports. Now, uh, going to what I wanted to show you is that the program can show you one thing, the bill of the materials, which is, let's say, kind of important. You can see here all the, all the informations, but also you can see some kind of let's say more specific information regarding, for example, the tenders. And now here, as we made the, the software, you can see you, you have no elongation. This is because actually we don't, we didn't make the, the software, the, the model as a construction stage model, but we can do it quite fast. So what we'll do, we'll just create here a load case, which we'll call PS, or PSD, doesn't matter actually. Uh, we'll put, uh, we will select this PSD, okay, we'll go to stress 
tangent root 5. And here we, in this group, I think, yes. And, and here, yes. Okay. Yes, okay. Okay. Uh, this is done. Now what we have to do is a group which is all. Let's say we select everything. We select everything and put it here. And also you can go to boundaries. Uh, we can do a boundary here also or a boundary group. And everything which is let's say supports not very support. Okay, we will put in this boundary group. Okay, and also there are some links which have to be in the same group so that we can activate them uh, during the constructions. So we'll have only, let's say, two construction stages, actually one and the log term. We define it here, stage one, let's say 28 days. We'll just put here everything at 28 days. Boundary and load, PSD. Okay. And we have to define also the load of the bridge, self-weight. Here we have to define another group. Let's be. And this one, we'll put it here and define. We'll go back again to construction stages and we we'll let that group as well. Yeah, maybe not, so we'll not release it the first day, maybe let's say 15 days at least. Okay, and then we have, we'll uh, add the uh, long term, which will be, let's say, 10,000 days, and that's it. We have two, uh, two stages only. Uh, now let's see if the, if the model has everything for the first stage, or first stage, otherwise it will, it will fail, but it seems it's okay. So now we can run it. And now if we go, if we go here, the results, you'll see that the tendon, we have the elongations, uh, or it should be. Maybe because the temperature no, okay, because these are not the amount of stress loads are not ready. Okay, ready. Stress both ends and switch here. I'm not Okay, that, that is because it is in default, yeah. Okay, so we have to, to switch in the group we have created. Okay.
Okay, and now if we, if we go here, hopefully we have, you see, we have had the locations. And also, if you go to uh, results, you can see the table loss. You can see here the tendon loss. But also, you can see it graphically. Uh, tendon loss graph, you can see it here. And you can see it in stage one, and after the lock term, you can see how the stress in your table evolves. And, uh, and this is more or less, sorry for the troubles. This is more or less what I wanted to show you for today. So if there are any questions, please. Uh,